All right, guys, as promised, I told you I'd be uploading a video of me doing a redhead. It's already skinned, fleshed, and washed. I am going to gas it, dry it, start hanging it, and then tape it up. So that's gonna be my finished, uh, my finished portion. Let's jump into it. All right, so what you're gonna need for this step is some Coleman camp fuel. You can get this at Walmart. It cost you, I don't know, maybe eight bucks for the can. Um, I haven't bought any in a while, so. I know fuel prices are crazy right now, but that's where I got that. You want to make sure that you got yourself um, a rubber glove or at least two of them. Um, and then your bird, and I use like a baking baking sheet for it. Well, not actually a baking sheet, but um, I mean, you see what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is pour the fuel on top of the bird and use the glove to pretty much move it around. Make sure that the fuel is completely covering it, and then we're going to let it sit for a while. All right, so I'm getting my glove on here. Let's go ahead and open up this can. And like I said, go ahead and pour this fuel on. Now you wanna make sure you do this in a ventilated area. And if you smoke cigarettes or um, have any electrical components or anything that's close, co close by, you wanna make sure that it is uh, far away from you doing this because if you're doing this for a customer like I am um, you'll want this bird to catch on fire so put this these tops are always hard to put back on but all right so bird is covered up we're gonna go ahead and get it not smashed down but pushed down into this fuel so that way the fuel is touching everything and what this is gonna do is it's gonna um, take the water out of the feathers and it's gonna make the drying process a lot easier. So it's gonna speed it up for you. So that way you're not sitting there with the dryer forever. Um, you know, flip it around and everything. And then what I'll do is once it's all covered and coated, um, I'll let it sit for about about five, 10 minutes. So let the, let the fuel um, do its thing. And then once it's done, I um, might not show this next part, but if I do I have a container to be able to pull the, pour the fuel in and then dispose of that properly because you don't want to just dump this down the drain or dump it in your yard because uh, it'll kill the grass. And then obviously, um, you know, throwing it away in the, tra in the trash can, that's, you know, like polluting. So um, make sure you dispose of it properly. And then, uh, matter of fact, I'll have on the GoPro for um, getting this thing out of the fuel because there's a few things that I do that um, a lot of people, I don't know, they may or may not do, but I haven't seen it done on video. So I'll go ahead and show you. So what I'm doing during this portion here is I will have a funnel and I put the funnel into like a bottle or something to where I can contain all of the fuel and I will dump all the fuel out of the pan into the bottle. And what I don't see people doing is keeping like the bird to one side of the container that they have it in to let as much uh, fuel come out of the bird and pretty much go to the bottom of the pan to be able to dump into, you know, whatever container. So I'll apply uh, light pressure um, against it and it just gets the extra water, the extra fuel, and all that good stuff out of the bird so that way we can go ahead and dispose of all the liquid. So then we go ahead and move to the table. Um, I like to start with the back side of it, so pretty much the top side of the bird, and I work from the tail and I go towards the head. Um, what I'll also do is take my finger and you'll see like the little fuzzy uh, feathers. They'll be like, uh, they'll look like tiny little black strings. You, I normally take my, my finger and I'll, you know, just uh, kind of try to get it to move off of that skin. So that way the air can get to it and it fluffs it up. You want to continue drying everything until that bird is nice and puffy and looks as if you just took it off of a fresh bird. So you wanna work all the different corners and inside the armpit and um, 
you know, the wings, everything. Just continue to hit it with a, I use a shot vac and just continue to hit it until the bird is super nice and fluffy. So as you can see here, it's a little sneak peek. I'm not sure if I've posted this up on Instagram or Facebook, not, but um, the bird is starting to get preened. I normally use a pair of tweezers and I typically work my way from the tail end of the bird and then work my way towards the head. I kind of let it dictate um, what I do just because there's some spots where the feathers lay exactly where you, you know, where you need them. And there's other ones where you have to do a little bit extra work. But this part, you really want to take your time because this is going to affect your, uh, your finished product. So take your time, have patience. So I like how you turned out. I try to get the, uh, the little slot opening right there. Um, identical on both sides because it would be as if he was like almost flushing off the water. Um, I guess feet tucked back behind there. I'm going to leave them closed. I'm not going to open them up and spread them. So, um, that will look the most realistic with this mount. And then, sorry, I got tons of, tons of stuff out here in the, in the garage, but I'd say it turned out pretty good. But I'll go ahead and continue cranking out these birds. I got, I think about 10 or 12 more to do. And then I got a few more birds gonna get turned into me here within the next few weeks. So I've got plenty of work to do. I just gotta stay busy doing it. Appreciate y'all support. And if you have any critiques or suggestions or, or whatever, um, just let me know down there in the comments. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. And until next time, I've been Chris, this has been Duck Loop Outdoors, and y'all stay safe out there.